husband and I are going down to New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans. New, New Orleans. <laughs> They're gonna kick me out. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Louisiana. If you're from New Orleans, I'm sorry if I'm offending you. I have no idea how to say it in the native tongue. So anyway, <laughs> we're going down to Louisiana and um, I am packing my travel makeup bag. So I thought since I'm packing, I might as well show you what I'm bringing. Um, <clears throat> when I keep my makeup at home, I use this Bare Minerals case had it for years, um, but it's bulky. And when I travel, I generally don't bring um, checked bags. I always do hand carry or carry on luggage. So this is too big to fit in my carry on. So not gonna do this. I am going to take a Ziploc. <laughs> How about that? Um, this is less than a quart size bag. This is one of those sandwich bags. And generally I can fit all of my makeup and accessory things in here. Um, so this is what I'm packing in. I'm going high class on this trip. It's obvious to New Orleans. Anyway, um, so the first thing I'm gonna pack is my organic wear. This is a great mascara that I use. Um, it's by Physicians Formula. It's not waterproof, so if you are, you know, contact lens wearer or watery eyes, this is not the best thing to wear, um, but, you know, works great for most people. Um, this is the Black Organics. Um, you can't see that very well, can you? Maybe you can, um, color. So this actually can, it depends. Depends on who your TSA agents are, TSOs. Um, <clears throat> when you're going through security, could count for a liquid. So I'm actually gonna leave this out and put this in my 311 bag. But this will be eventually in my makeup bag once I get through security. Um, a couple other things that I bring, tweezers, pretty self-explanatory, right? And then I also bring eyelash curler. Now this seems pretty extravagant. I don't normally bring this. The purpose for my trip to New Orleans, I'm gonna be on stage playing music. And so I need to have um, kind of stage makeup, sort of. And this helps with that, you know, makes your eyelashes large-ish. So I'm gonna bring that along this time. Um, all right, so then I also have this little tiny lip brush. This is a Bare Minerals lip brush that I've had for forever, um, but I don't use it for lips. I use it for my eyeshadow to turn it into an eyeliner. So the eyeshadow that I'm bringing along with me, I'm actually bringing two that double as eyeliners. Um, this first one is Bare Minerals and it's smoked gray. You can see that there. Um, this works really well as an eyeshadow and an eyeliner. Um, it doesn't really like run off your face, which is awesome. And then this one is Pashmina Glimmer. I don't, I think this one might be discontinued. I haven't seen it anywhere else. It's kind of like a charcoal-y, silvery kind of color. And this works really well as an eyeliner too. I really like it. So I'm gonna throw those in my bag here. <clears throat> and then the other eyeshadow that I'm bringing, this is actually from Etsy. It's a brand called Kiss Me Cosmetics. And this particular color is Sugar and Spice. Um, if they're still around, I'm going to link to them into, getting this everywhere, link to them into the description bar below. I don't know if they're still around. Um, one of the cosmetics companies that I purchased cosmetics from that aren't Bare Minerals has gone under, but I don't remember if it's this one or if it's the other one I'm going to show you. But if they're still around, Kiss Me Cosmetics, I'll put this below. Um, they are gluten and soy free. All of their makeup is, so that's awesome. <coughs> okay, so now... Um, the other one I was talking about, this is Joelle, Joelle Cosmetics. This is Peach Blush, original name. Also gluten and soy free. A uh, really nice color, um, and it's very comparable to Bare Minerals. And this particular one is not shimmery, so it doesn't make you, you know, look kind of sticky. <laughs> I prefer that. It's looking sticky. Um, all right, so then I also have... This is kind of a larger container. Uh, this is the only one that I happen to have right now. This is the Bare Minerals Medium. It's C25 color. Uh, this was a limited edition. If you can see that, it's kind of down in here right now. A limited edition size. They had this on sale, I think it was this past Christmas or Christmas before, I can't remember. I think it was this past Christmas because I haven't had this for that long. Um, they had it, this is a larger size. What is this, 16 grams, their normal size is what, two to five? So this was a lot bigger for the same price as the smaller one, so I got this one. And that's my normal foundation color that I wear all year round now. 
And then I also have their concealer. This is the Summer Bisque Concealer. What number is that? 2B. And I really, really like this. It's uh, very comparable to the uh, foundation color that I use, but it's a little more yellow. Uh, so it helps to conceal anything if I need concealer. Um, so this is a great little handy guy. Not liquid, so it doesn't have to go in my 311 bag, which is awesome. That's why I travel with these powdery ones, so I don't have to declare them for anybody. And then I'm also taking my mineral veil. I don't normally wear mineral veil. You know what that looks like if you use bare minerals. Um, mineral veil is kind of like a setting powder. So you use that at the very end after your makeup's done just to kind of set it and keep it in place. I generally don't need this on a day-to-day -day basis, but since we're going to be on stage with the lights and everything, I don't want to be shining and like sticky, <laughs> as I said before. And then I'm also bringing my concealer brush. This is Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals Max Coverage Concealer Brush. And um, I always travel with this with my little brush guard. I always keep my brush guards on my brushes. Uh, keep them nice. And then I just have their regular flawless face brush that I'm bringing too. And that works for a blush brush as well. All right, guys, there we go. It all fits into my little sandwich size bag here. Let me see if I can zip her up. <clears throat> all right, it all fits in there. And I'm going to put my mascara in my 311 bag so I can go through security without them yelling at me for having a liquid in whatever. You know how that goes. So, all right, there we go. So that's my travel makeup bag going down to Louisiana. <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing the same type of thing. We're going to Europe in a couple of months. So I'll be bringing the same thing with me as well. Um, it works for whatever type of travel you're doing. All right, guys, take care. Bye.